In tonight's video, I'm going to talk about my expectations for the Olympia. Hey guys, what's going on? This is Paul from ProPhysique.com and it is the eve of our trip to the Mr. Olympia. That's right, tomorrow morning I'm boarding a flight with uh, Steven, my coach, Lauren Conlin, my friend and business partner, and Ryan Conley, and we are headed out to Las Vegas for the Olympia. Now, I want to talk a little bit about my expectations for the Olympia because it, it just has a weird feeling this year. Not because we just went through a hurricane. Um, we got our power back. Um, I had a generator running, but the power is back in my neighborhood, which makes me feel better about being gone. Um, I did consider not going just because I didn't want my wife to be home with no power, but power's back. Things are good here in, uh, in Tampa. So my expectations for this Olympia are a little different because uh, with all the stuff that's gone on in the last couple you know, weeks and months with the fitness industry, um, and so I just thought we could talk a little bit about some of the stuff that's going on. So obviously I think the biggest thing, if anyone's been to a fitness event, last year's Olympia, LA Fit Expo, you know, the Toronto, everywhere I've gone in the last probably two years, one of the, if not the biggest attractions at these events was Rich Piana. I mean, the guy's fan base is just immense. They pack the house lines out the door um, pretty much from the time the expo starts till it finishes and so I'm I'm really curious to see how the Olympia Expo is impacted when you take away probably the largest single um, expo attraction you know or personality in Rich Piana and I don't know what their plans are with his business or with their booth but we'll have to see I think it, it's gonna change kind of the maybe how busy it is um, and then you consider you know someone like Daniel and Bailey who's also on that same level as far as bringing a lot of people in I, I don't really know her status I know she just did a powerlifting meet and I watched the video and I think she did amazing um, I was very impressed with her technique I mean she's come a long way since I, you know some of her older squatting and benching videos so yeah Daniel and Bailey is doing powerlifting she's gonna be at Raw Nationals so I'll be there with clients coaching and I'm excited to see her lift um, but so you take away Rich Piana, you know, the, the Daniel and Bailey, not at the expo. And then, of course, the death of Dallas McCarver has kind of added this level of man, like somebody that had the potential to win Mr. Olympia someday, 26 years old, um, by all accounts, one of the nicest people in, in the business. And, um, you know, he's no longer with us. So it's just going to have, I think, a strange feeling about it. You know, you've also got the fact that you know, Phil Heath is basically just dominating the the Olympia these days and it almost feels like, you know, I wasn't around when Lee Haney, I wasn't going to the Olympia, but you know, when he won his eight titles, kind of felt like it was his show to lose and I think that's kind of how it feels right now with Phil. So there's a little bit lack of excitement. Now the bikini division is kind of interesting because Courtney King announced she's not doing it. So your reigning bikini Olympia champion is not competing and I don't believe Ashley Kaltwasser is competing. Could be wrong there. I haven't heard her name all year. Um, so maybe she is, maybe she isn't. But so, yeah, there should be a new Miss Bikini Olympia this year. That will be very exciting. Um, you know, we've got always the exciting Flex Lewis. And, um, you know, I met Sadiq Hadzevic. And um, I'm excited for him to do classic. And there's, there's, there's other things going on. But it feels like the big ticket, the Mr. Olympia, Phil Heath, He's just kind of on cruise control. As long as he keeps, you know, doing his thing, he's going to be tough to challenge. So it'll be interesting to see if something changes that because you never really know until they get on stage and they do their posing routines. I do have tickets for the finals, for the bodybuilding finals, bikini finals, 212 finals on Saturday. So that's going to be very exciting. So, yeah, we will, uh, we will get to see some of the events, but I'm just curious. My big reason for going out to the Olympia is just it's a great chance to catch up with so many people. Um, and, and I really like the atmosphere of Las Vegas because when you go outside of the expo, there's lots of things to do, walking, sightseeing. I'll say this, the transportation there is really easy to get around. Ubers and uh, what's the other Uber? 
uh, can't think of the name of it, but they're, they're Lyft, they're really easy to get, and so I find Las Vegas is just always such a great spot for these type of things because um, the city's just so easy, the Airbnbs are so cheap. Last year we stayed at the Badara, this year we're getting an Airbnb because we're going with a large group. So yeah, I'm, I'm excited about you know going out, experiencing Las Vegas, the food, the fun, and um, the expo, but I'm just really curious to see how different it is. So that's gonna be it, guys. This video is gonna go out on Thursday morning, probably while I'm in the air. I get to Las Vegas around 10 a.m. Just wanted to uh, just say how excited I am to see everybody that's gonna be there. Let me know below if you're gonna be around, if we can you know, catch up and um, I don't have a specific booth I'm going to be at. I'm just going to buy a ticket and walk around the expo and enjoy it. Uh, I may get tickets to watch some of the prejudging that is in the expo, like the bikini, like the 212, stuff like that. So we'll see. I haven't decided yet what I'm going to do as far as the day. I'm going to attend the expo, go see some familiar faces, a lot of friends in the fitness industry that I, I get to see at these events. And then, of course, clients. And um, if you see me and um, I'm not smiling, just know that I just tend to have this resting bitch face I don't know if I should say that about myself but I, t I tend to not always be smiling but I'm always happy to to meet and say hello and chat if you have questions or you just want to just say hello and uh, I'd love to do that it always um, gives me a big thrill to meet people so that's gonna be it for me tonight guys although you'll see this video on Thursday around afternoon time I'm excited because tomorrow, when I get to Las Vegas, my man Chad Nutter is going to be there. So we are going to be doing some training. We are going to be doing some expoing, some, of course, Las Vegas-style eating. And uh, who knows what else we'll get into, but it's going to be some really cool vlog-style stuff that Chad's going to do for me. And, uh, yeah, we're just going to go from there. And I'll talk to you guys the rest of this week through Chad Nutter's videos. All right, guys, bye.